Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Today is July 7th, 2021. <laughs> and we're so, live. Woohoo! Come on in. Well, where'd you go? Let's see if we can get in here. I'm right here. What do you mean, where did I go? Oh, right I there. hit the wrong button oh. and sent you. Oh, what'd you do? I don't know. I'll get it. There I am. Uh, I'm there, right there. You're right there. Woohoo! Okay. He watches from his phone so that he can uh, yep. uh, let me know when there's questions. It says share the video to my TV. That's something new. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. You don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. So welcome everyone. Cindy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hi, Hi Beth. Cindy. Hi Nicola. Hi Jean. Hi Tammy. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Beth Ann from Philadelphia. Oh, you got that ahead of me. How's everyone doing tonight? So, Hello. I was going to look up the page of this set, and I didn't do that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Have you guys been enjoying the new catalog? I have, and uh -huh. I have got a really cute fun fold tonight. What's up? Uh, Jean's just telling me we're halfway through 2021. Well, I know. We are halfway through 2021. Speak up. So I know. <laughs> they can hear you. All right, everyone. Just real quick, I just want to remind you that I do have a rewards program just for being a loyal customer of mine. Um, I am going to have a parfait this Friday, and it's so stinking cute. It's like simple, but really adorable. Um, I have an amazing team, and if you are interested in starting a business just to get your stamp and supplies at discount, or if you actually want to earn a little cash on the side like I do, this is a great place, and we'd love to have you. And the last but not least is we are having a designer series paper sale. Woohoo! 15% off. There That's are nine... Quite the deal. It is. It's kind of a stock up thing, so of course I had to. I needed to get um, another Beauty of the Earth. This one is, um, I think, going to be great for this fall. So, Which one? Beauty of the Earth. Oh, it's wow. This one. Okay. Right here. So I had to Ooh, go. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even opened it. But it's got like a bunch of tree prints and stuff on it, and I bought the, the coordinating stamp set. And then I had to get another one of the Sweet Symmetry. Oh, so awesome and then another hand penned so oh, wow. yeah I was on it so if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like me to be your demonstrator I would be more than happy to mail you out one of the new annual catalogs however guess what's coming up Bill what I can't even believe it oh wow it's our mini catalog. So this one, it says July, December, but they had to push it back because of some... Uh, Product issues. Yeah. So it'll be August, December, actually. August, December. Ooh. I cannot open more than this, but let me just say some of the stuff is pretty phenomenal. I did do a quick little um, unboxing video on... Tuesday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yesterday. Time flies. And there are some cute sets in there. I've got, I think, some more coming this Friday. I think. Oh. I forgot to get the celebration catalogs, you guys. So those will be coming out. And if you are already a customer of mine, and those of you who are in my VIP group, you never have to worry. Um, unless you're not in my VIP group anymore. Um, what I do is I will send the first catalog for free and I would ask that you would help me with placing an order through me so that it covers the cost of shipping in the catalog. But we're also going to have a celebrations and I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to let you know it's coming and it's pretty cute. And I showed some of the products there. So any questions or anything before we get going? Um, France is saying the expressions in ink is back in stock. It is. Yeah. Woohoo. It's not on the paper sale, though. Oh. But it's back in stock. Good to know. Good to know. That's what she says. So. Yeah. yeah. It's not on our paper sale, but it is back in stock. So that is good to know. Mm -hmm. So tonight, I want to show you. I saw this. So we're going to have a little discussion about this stamp set. I love birdhouses. I like birds. Ooh, I like this set. 
you. This is an awesome set. So yes, it is. If you guys follow me on Facebook at all, you will probably have seen a post where I asked Bill to build me this double decker birdhouse, and he did. And it looks just like it with the little, um, what are it, shingles? Is that what it kind yeah. of? what it is yeah. yeah so um this will be the set that we're using it's called garden bird houses it's stinking cute and we're going to do a little fun fold with it on top of it so um I, I was going to mark that page so i could tell everybody what that costs and where to find it and i forgot to do that so i'm sorry but we're going to be doing a little bit of coloring we got quite a few stamps, so we're going to actually be doing some stamping. This is kind of a little bit of a project, but once you get the hang of it, it's super simple. I'm going to hand that off well, to you. Welcome, all you latecomers. Yeah, say Thanks hello. Thanks for stopping in. Tell us where you're from. Well, Madison's from Waterloo, Iowa. <laughs> you're going to be telling us. Hi, Madison. Good to see you. from northern Minnesota. I haven't, I haven't seen Madison in a long time. Yeah. Okay, so I've chose to do my card base, and so if you're just um, late joining us, I'm going to be doing a fun fold, but it's like super cute, and I've got a couple of tricks to it. So I've started off with a card base, and that is in Daffodil Delight is what I chose. It is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock, and we're going to get out the paper trimmer. And this is one where you really are going to need a paper trimmer. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the paper trimmer, and we're going to just do some scoring, okay? And I want to move my stuff out of the way so you can see. Am I in camera? You are in camera. So I want to start off putting it flush up to the, to the edge there, so at four and a quarter. So... There are two, um, two colors. The lighter does the scoring and the darker does the trimming. And so we're going to use the lighter one. So measure twice, so four and a quarter. We're going to start off scoring there. And then we're going to move it to two and an eighth. So here's two and there's eight. And we're going to score again. Okay. I'm going to move this aside just for a second because I find it easier if I go ahead. It's hard for me to see those score lines if I go ahead and fold it. This may not be the way the card is folded in the end, but it's how I start so that I can see that actual score line a little easier. And I hope that's showing up on camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I do have the page number. You do? Yep. Kathy Walton gave us the page number of 107 of the annual catalog. Thank you, Kathy. How much does it cost? I like to like... Okay, so I want the, the end of my paper to be on the two and a half. And for those of you... This is difficult enough. I'm going to get an assistant to help me, and I will be putting this on my blog. So I will have these measurements down, those of you who like them. So two and a half is going to fit here. And then I want to take the end of that score line, and I want to fit that right into the track. So it's right in the middle of the track. Now let's move this a little bit, so I'm going to turn it. There we go. So I was doing, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to use the dark one now, and we're going to cut right Oops. there. Wow. It's gone. gone. Okay. Cut off. So. Save that scrap? You can save that scrap. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to move this aside again, and then I'm going to fold it back the other direction. So we're going to. Bone fold that down. I have a cost. Okay, what's the cost? $18. $18 and you're going to see magic tonight, I'm telling you. That's right. And then I'm going to fold this one back. Thank you, Kathy, for that. Okay, so I was looking at 
um, I don't know where I was. I must have been on Pinterest, I think. And I saw someone had this, and I went ahead and went to their blog to see, because I thought I haven't seen this kind of a fold like this. And I went ahead, and she had this part marked down, but she had nothing to explain how to do the other cuts in this. So we're going to do that. The first one is really easy. We're going to have a piece of basic white at four and five and a quarter. No problem, okay? So as I'm building this, I'm gonna be explaining the cuts. So we're just gonna start with stamping this. And so I wanted to do this little decorative house here. I have one very similar to this that Bill built me mm, last year. Some, yeah. Yeah, because I've had a couple that have kind of, we get so much wind here, so let me find that. And I'm going to use the memento, not the stays on. The memento is um, good for when you're using blends. The memento ink. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, I'm going to pop up on to my little stamp and pierce mat just because it, it gives a better impression, uh, impression of the image. So let's just take this nice and inky. And I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, that looks good, I guess. It's floating. It is, it's floating. Okay, and then they have, now I looked at this a couple of times to try to figure out which way this um, like stem or what do, you, what do we call this? Post. Post is and it does actually go best with the way it is with that that um deeper edge wasn't that a shadow kind of yeah thing? yeah it is so and the way i find that i actually do a better job of stamping it is if i turn it and i may have to because being in front of the camera so i have my nose right up here there we go. Not too bad. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And then let's do, I'm going to do a couple of things. So let's do, let me find, there's this group of flowers here. So I'm going to add some flowers down here. And Maybe up a little higher on that side. Maybe even just a little bit right there. What do you think, Bill? Well, that looks good. Does that look like kind yeah. of our birdhouse up by the garage? A little bit? Yeah. Especially with the flower. We have a huge pot of flowers. Wow. Yeah, we got these flowers this year, and they're huge. Both of them have gotten real big. This is really inky. I must have way inked. Hi, Joy. Hi. <gasps> Joy, how are you? Okay, so we're starting there. And I'm going to go ahead and... Should I color it? Yeah, I'm going to color it. I'll just do it all at once. So let's make this... This is going to be a little... Madison used to say car carvinal when she was... We're going to pretend this is a little carvinal. She couldn't say cardinal. She said limbozine too. It was so cute. Okay, so this is our little... Uh, since it's the bright red, it's going to be the little boy. Okay. Yep. And the color I am using is the light real red. And then, I don't know if you guys know that, the brighter colored birdie is usually the... Male. Male, yeah. And then let's just go ahead here, and I'm going to color the top of the roof. This was the color of the top of my birdhouse till it blew over into the neighbor's yard. One day we went out, the stick, the post was there. The birdhouse was in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, all mashed up. We had quite the wind. So I'm just going to go ahead. I should have used the brush end. That's what I should have did. And then I can just color this all in, and I want to go on the underside too. I really did have a birdhouse with a blue roof. I was excited about that thing. But it got smashed up, so Bill had to build me another one. 
his insurance money came through. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to color this in. Well, while you're coloring that. Okay. Did you know that our dog does math? What? I asked Izzy. What do you mean? I asked Izzy what's two minus two. Yeah. And she said nothing. Oh my gosh. That's bad, Bill. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit of dark daffodil and I'm gonna do the door here in the dark daffodil. You're funny. Did you really ask her that? Yeah. You did not. Did you? Yeah, she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> and then I've got some soft suede here. And we're going to do the post in soft suede. You're funny. Do you wait for Wednesdays just to do your dead? I look all week for a good one. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it, folks, right there. He waits to entertain. Okay, I'm going to do a few of these in the daffodil. And I'm going to do a few of these flowers in the red, just using the same colors I've already used. Well, hello, UK. Who's that? Julie Pierce. Wow, welcome. Yeah, she says it's 1 a.m. in the UK. Yeah, because Nicola always stays Nicola up. Nicola stays up, too. Yep. <laughs> Ireland, we love you. Yes. That would, UK could be Scotland, it could be Wales, it could be England. That's right. I don't know which one. Which one? Okay, then I want to take some of the light granny apple green. Now, here's what's really good about this, is with this one, even though there may be a leaf or two here, just come right over the line and let it just kind of fill in around that and that gives the illusion of the stem. You're not really coloring it in, you're just kind of coloring it around it, you know? So you can see the green and I'll show you. I don't, I'm not a, oops, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do the little birdie perch right there. Okay. Did you get them all? Yeah, I get them all. Look at that. That's sharp. Okay. I like it. You like that? Awesome. Okay, so let me put this away for now. We're gonna we're gonna put this away. Oh, I can't believe I didn't have that away already. And we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna bring back in our 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 piece. Okay, so here's our base again, and this is gonna go here, right? Okay. But now we need to have a piece here because we're going to continue this. So I have worked long and hard. Like I said, the gal that had this, she had this, but she didn't have any measurements on how to fill in. And I had to do math, you guys. So listen, because I don't like to do math. So this is cut at two inches and this is two and a quarter. So when you put this behind here, did I measure this right? look like it. I did. <laughs> you want, let me get the, let me make sure I got the right measurements. It is two by three and three quarter. Okay. Now here's my cheat. I want the same angle on this. So if I put this behind here and because I want it to have that little border edge on each side, I want to go up to the top. I cannot stress this enough have this go up to the top of this angle angle all right right okay get corner to corner there here's my here's my cheat or my hack take a pencil draw a line it's going to give you the exact same angle from that corner to here is what i have here and because i did the math and figured out the measurements let's see if this works let's just see If I take it and I hook this right in the track, 
and I use the dark for cutting. Make sure you hold this down. Okay. Now this should fit exactly. Look at with that border to it too. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because we're gonna do it again. Do you want to do it? Oh, do it again. we're doing it again. So now I've got another piece at two. This is the um, from the Brights collection of DSP. This is the Daffodil Delight, and you can choose whichever side you want. I decided to go with kind of the this gingham? Uh, plaid gingham, yes. Yeah. But now I need the angle to go the other direction. So again, just like we did on this, this one, we want the angle to go this way, so we put the card behind and measure to the top. So this is cut at two by five and um, a half. I'm putting it behind because I want it to go this particular angle, but at the top of this, I'm going to use my pencil. This was the easiest way. If I would have mathed the heck out of this, you guys would have been bored. <laughs> Trust me, because I did. I went through a lot of DSP trying to math it out. This is the nicest, easiest way to and get. Like, drum roll, does it fit? Does yes, it fit? It does. <laughs> so now I've got that angle and it's on the front. So here's the best part. Let me take this off here. Well, maybe. It's static to it. I guess. <laughs> All you have to do, if you've got any pencil showing, is take your eraser to it. There you go. That's it. That's it. Nice, right? Okay, so I already know that I want this one to go right here on this side of it. And again, if you're just tuning in now and watching me, I am going to have the measurements for this particular project on. They all agree this is a better way than doing the math. <laughs> oh, I had to do the math to figure out some of the cuts, but this was so much easier. So now I've got that border all the way around. What are you giggling about? What was that? I said, what are you giggling about? I'm just reading some of the comments. Now see, look at, here we go. And I can just throw this away. I'm going to say that they took one for the team. I'm not going to save every scrap. So now when I have this in here, it's going to open. Okay, but wait, there's more to this. There's more to this, lovely. So we've got kind of this feminine, beautiful with the floral and, and our little male bird visiting. But we've got this piece here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take bringing my memento back out the house that Bill built me I'm going to take and we're going to do that on this side whoops I need my little what do you Old think pad. yeah what do you think Bill looks you... like the man the, the man cave man cave or the <laughs> condo man condo is that what you're saying so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one on, and then I'm going to use the same, this one won't go as long. Don't worry about when you get a little ink on here. You can use, and normally I do put a piece of paper, but if you do get it, it comes right up. You can use... Now, See? I do have a question on that. Okay. On your chamois? On the chamois, yeah. When you have me clean it beforehand, uh -huh. you have me do the cold first? Cold gets out blue, greens. Okay. And then the hot. And then the hot gets out the kind of the reds and purples. Okay. I don't know why it does that. It just does. Have you guys noticed that on these chamois? They're thick, and I don't know if it's, I, I don't know. But I'm going to hand all these to you so I can get that off of my plate so I can continue. Okay. Oh. Okay. So now on our, on our male one, let's add, he gets grass. He's not going to get any flowers. So he's just going to get grass and we'll have. Because he has a lawnmower and he likes to mow his lawn. <laughs> 
leave it to you. So we're going to put a little grass around his. And I'm going to shut that for now. And let's start with him. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take, this is the suede, the soft suede. And we're going to do the pole. And this is the light soft suede, just to be particular. <clears throat> And then he doesn't have a perch on his, so we're going to go here with the light crumb cake. What is this? Oh, I have light and dark. I think we're going to go with, I don't remember what I use now. Yeah, we'll make it. We're going to go with the light crumb cake. And we're going to come in here. He's just got a craftsman style house, so he's just going to get raw wood here. He's not painted white and fancy. They like the tip about the chamois. Yeah. Well, the first time I saw my friend Tara, the first time she did that, I'm like, you're getting ink on it. And she's like, I got you. Just take a, a wet wipe or something. And they wash right off. And I was like, oh. Okay, so we've got him and I'm going to give him He's a little darker on this side, so we're going to give him a double coat on that side. Did you know that? If you go over twice, you can get just a little bit darker. Hmm. All right, now we're going to take the real red with him because he's, you know, he's a cardinal. A oh, cardinal. Yeah. A cardinal. So he's going to get that manly red, Bill's favorite colors red. Yes, I did build that birdhouse. He did build it. Yeah. I, I'll have to repost a picture. He built the exact birdhouse for me. It's not painted me. yet. It isn't. Yeah, but he did do it. And then I'm going to come along here and I'm going to just do, we got the, the foot here. And then his is simple. I don't have to do all those flowers and I'm just going to go in here and we're just going to slap on some green grass, kind of Half on, half off. Isn't this cute? Right? Oh, I got a smudger. Don't you hate it when you get a smudger? Uh-oh. <sighs> these these things, these sand erasers, they're great. Oh. Yeah. I'll work on it a little bit when I'm done. We'll just keep going. I see we got a host code. We do. Yes, please use this host code on all orders that are... Under $150. So now when I put this on, you seeing where I'm going with this, guys? Yeah, under $150. Sorry, I was in mid-thought. So let's go ahead and hook this on to the front flap, and then we'll get, we got a little bit more on that. You know what? I know where I got the smudger. Dang it. That's Cookies where. I should have. I get excited. So excited. Oh well, this is a hand stamped card, right? That's right. And it's cute as heck. Okay, so we've got this on here. So now I need to add my sentiment here. And I decided I was making this a birthday card. I actually have another card that I want to show you with the same layout with a different thing, but I can't because I made it for my cousin's birthday. So after she gets it, I think I'll show you because it's really cute. I can't even tell you what stamp set because I want her to be surprised. So we're going to do, here's what I wanted to do beforehand. I want to get an idea of where it's going to line up. So up here, birthday wishes, what? Wow, and champagne toast. <laughs> so here we go. Isn't this thing just stinking cute? It is. Everybody's loving it. With the... I love it too. And for a $17 <laughs> stamp set, if that's 18. 18. Okay, whatever. $18. I think this, you can just, there's, I have very little DSP on here. I suppose you could skip it. 
So now you have a place to put yeah, your you little. You could actually probably do a background stamp if you wanted. Yeah, you could. See, there you go. Thinking and being all smart, aren't you? That's right. So if anyone's asking about where I got this sand eraser, I actually got this on Amazon. Um, it says Tombow Mono Sand Eraser 512A for ink. And look it, it's gotten almost all of this off. And I'm almost done. I think this is so cute. I cannot wait to show you the other card that I made with another stamp set. But this is freaking adorable. It is. It I is love it. so cute. Again, that was Garden Bird Houses. And yeah. anything that you see that I have used today from the Memento Ink, other than this where I told you it's on Amazon, can all be purchased through me. The blends that color so beautifully, I love the blends, and I just think this is so cute. And again, I will be posting how I did my little measurements on here to get that, and it would be the same thing. So if you want a DSP on this side too, for instance, you can just put it behind, measure from the top. I cannot begin to tell you before drawing your line. It has to come from the top, not the bottom. So I was doing a little one eighth inch border on here. So you just take that. This is five and a half. So I wanted it on both ends, the top and the bottom. So I took a, a quarter inch off and cut it at five and a quarter. And then when you go ahead and do the, the, the line across with your pencil, that's how you get it. So, yeah. super cute. So, if you don't have this set, uh, page 107, <laughs> annual catalog, $18. <laughs> Put that on your list. And order it through Piccadilly order, Stamping. Order it through Piccadilly Stamping. <laughs> You're so cute. And use this host code. And use code. that host code because <laughs> it's under $149. And remember, dogs know how to do math. Just right. ask your dog yeah. what two, two minus, minus two, two is. is. <laughs> You're funny, Bill. I am. Okay, so you want to know something? I actually have another one. Ooh. I know. So we're going to have two people win this in a drawing. Well, I, hope... I know a lot of people are sharing tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. So how you get into my drawings is you share tonight's video to your wall, and then I will put your name into a drawing where you can win my card for next week. So, Bill likes to draw. You want to hand me the... We have our tickets there in here. There was a lot of, lot of people that shared last week. So, thank you very much. If you do have your privacy settings that you don't have what is shared, I can't see that, so your name won't get into my um, drawing name names, just so you know. So, you want to um, either tell me you shared on here... Um, if I'm friends with you, I can go to your wall and see, I guess. But Okay, go. so why don't you draw, draw a name. Uh, first name, Lucy from Colorado. Lucy, you won tonight's card. Yay! Okay, you ready? Let me shake it again. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Hey, Madison. <laughs> you won. All right. Well, I have both of your addresses, so I will definitely get that out to you. And I appreciate you guys um, letting us come into your uh, home every week and, and share with you. I will have a super cute card. It's um, a clean and simple card on um, on Friday. So that's Friday at 4 Central Time. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening, and we'll see you at Friday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.